everybody welcome back to my channel and welcome to our fourth process video for build a page this is actually going to be three layouts in one video these are the halloween photos of my grandkids and there wasn't a lot of decoration that went on to these because of the fact that they had um the papers that we used for the backgrounds had already a lot to them. So for the most part, I'm just going to mat them and then add a little bit of extra embellishment using the items that we pulled out together. So the first one I'm going to work on is um, my daughter's youngest. This is Carter. Uh, he uh, just turned three and he was Chucky for um, Halloween. And so I have a picture of him with his pink hair and his Chucky costume and then I have a picture that I'm putting um, I copied it three times with all of the kids um, as a family photo that will go in their albums now this um, photo I am going to go ahead and double mat and as you could see it already had some um, items that were punched out from it and I'm just strategically placing the photos on top to cover up the holes so that I can get the most out of the paper and, and use that section of it up. So now that I have it double matted now I'm just going to go ahead and try and figure out where I'm going to go ahead and lay them out. Um, in the photo in the bottom right hand corner that I think there was somebody's foot or something and so this is going to allow me to um, cover it up and use the family photo to hide what we don't want in the photo now I thought about using the trick-or-treat on the moon and that would have been really cute but again keeping in mind that my inspiration was these simple stories um, foam stickers I wanted to make sure I used something out of this so I'm just going to use the word spooky and I'm going to put that across the bottom of the page and that's going to give me a little bit of a shelf for one of my embellishments. So um, where the spooky went, um, there had been that little 3D owl. So I just moved that over and that's going to be in part of that cluster. And then I'm taking one of these stickopotamus um, glitter stickers that looks like a candy bar and I'm going to use that kind of as a base for my embellishments and um, put that little owl on there. And then I'm taking um, from a close to my heart um, Halloween sticker and I grab the little treat bag. And now from the stickopotamus, I'm just going and sprinkling candy corn and a little Tootsie Roll into each of the little clusters there. After I get those down, I'm going to go ahead. Um, I did grab from one of the sticker sheets the word trick or treat, and I put that below the word spooky. And then I'm going to take one of these K and Company um, little uh, graveyard um, tombstones, and I'm going to put that to the right hand side, building another little cluster with some more of the candy corn. And I, oh, and then I added a ghost that was also from the Kane Company. Um, I added also from the foam stickers that trick or treat. And that is it for that layout. So now I'm moving on to the next one. This one uh, was a little bit harder because I was trying not to cover up too much of the background, but you're going to see that I'm going to kind of have to do a little bit of covering up. Um, just because of the size of the photos and where everything's placed, but I'm still happy with how it turned out. So this is of my daughter's middle son, Preston, and uh, he was, I forget which one of the scary creatures with a hockey mask. Um, I don't watch, as you can tell, I don't watch scary movies I'd rather watch a rom-con than something like that. So no slasher movies for me. But um, when you're a nine and seven year old boy, it's fun to dress up with the scary stuff. So um, I went ahead and with his, I'm doing the same thing. I'm double matting, trying to make sure that the colors that are going on the back um, kind of pop off. So for his, it's going to be the orange with the green. Again, positioning it so that I cover up any of the punched items out. Um, and I'm able, again, to use more of that paper. So now that I have that one matted, I'm going to take a scrap of the um, orange. I'm going to 
um, go ahead and mat the 3x4 family photo on that. And here's where I'm going to struggle and move things around and try and figure out where exactly I'm going to go ahead and put these photos. I end up deciding, you know, as hard as I tried not to cover anything up, I end up covering up that ghost. Um, and again, you know, I still have the two haunted houses on there. No one's going to know that I covered up that one ghost. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with how that looks. But now I feel like the upper right-hand corner is kind of um, empty. So I'm going to go ahead and see what I can do as far as um, adding to that. So the first thing I did was grab one of these um, Bella Boulevard um, strips on the top that says when witches and go riding and black cats are seen, the moonlight laughs and whispers tis near Halloween. And so I'm going to go ahead and get that little strip on there. Now I'm going to take some of this green and I'm going to pull that up to the upper left hand side, making a little banner that I'm going to run across. And then to pull in a little bit more of that um, black and polka dot paper, I'm going to grab one of these uh, strips of um, scraps. I'm going to run that and have that second um, one here and cut off the excess. So now my title is going to be October 31st. This is one of the acrylics that I have. Um, I bought these last year from um, Colorcast Designs. They, had some, they have some really cute stuff. So I went ahead and glued that down with a little bit of Nuvo. And then I'm also going to take one of the Stichopotamus um, candy bars and I'm going to go ahead and build my cluster over there. The next thing I'm going to do is grab a phrase sticker um, from one of them that says Fright Night. And then I'm also going to start building up my next cluster with the word eek because, you know, he's scary cute. And then I want to put the word phrase scary below him. And then I'm going to um, add one of the uh, Bella Boulevard tabs that says spooky. And here's where I put that Fright Night up. The next thing I'm going to do is grab a couple stars off of the, um, the foam stickers from Simple Stories, which was our inspiration. And the last thing I'm going to do is sprinkle out some of these um, bats that came off of the Simple Stories Happy Haunting um, uh, cluster. And I think that, oh, the last thing I um, do is I do take um, another one of the um, Close to My Heart treat bags and I put it to look like the ghost was carrying um, the treat bag. And then I'm going to spread, um, just sprinkle candy across the bottom so that it looks like the bag spilled candy and I'm happy with how that one turned out. So now we're moving on to the last of the layouts, and this one is of my oldest grandson. This is um, Dylan, and I have no clue what he was. He was thrilled because this scream mask or whatever it was, um, when you pushed the little bulb on his at the end, it made the blood run through the mask. And, you know, again, nine-year-old thought that was really cool. So we're going to go ahead and... Um, get him matted with the purple and then the family photo is getting matted on the green and because he's looking towards the left side I'm going to put his photo on the right and build it that way and we're just going to put it on a little bit of a tilt and happy with how that looks and then we're going to use for him we're going to use the Simple Stories foam sticker that says Mwahahaha because, you know, he's a goblin. And then um, I'm going to, I thought about using um, some of these um, color cast design items. And I end up on his not even using any of them. I end up going and using some of my older stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the... Um, I think there's only three of the tombstones left. So I'm going to go ahead and put a tombstone in the top, one on the left, and another one on the right. And that uses those tombstones up. 
and I was happy to get those um, used up and out of my stash. And then because he is a monster wearing a black cape, I'm going to go ahead and grab this vampire and I'm going to put that on, on the left hand side along with this cauldron. And then I also put a black cat along with that foam sticker that says beware. And here's where I'm just tucking the vampire in. And I was going to go and, like I said, use um, the color cast bats, but I decided I was going to use the K and Company instead. Um, these have been in my stash for quite a while, and so it's time to get them used up. And I know that I'll have other layouts that I can go ahead and use the color cast items on. Trimming off the tail of the um, black cat. And I did add a few little stars that had fallen off the foam sticker sheet and have those added in. Here's the close-ups of all three of those layouts. was happy to get those done. And I want to thank you so much for stopping by.